so update 32 is out now, and it's pretty great. It's definitely one of the biggest updates to the game so far, and I would even say it might be the biggest. Along with that, it's also one of the most thematic, which is pretty cool. I really like the focus of working on and repairing heavy machinery, and also being a bunch of roughneck boys. This is definitely the coolest update thematically, and I hope they do more themed updates in the future. Obviously, the main portion of this update is the two new mission types, on-site refining and escort duty. These new objectives fit quite well within the roster of missions that were previously in the game before them, but they're also quite unique in pacing and structure. I'll be going over what makes these new mission types good and my general opinions on each of them. Up first is my personal new favorite mission type, on-site refining also known as Tony Hawk's Point Extraction. In this mission type, the objective is to collect and refine liquid morkite, and there's a lot of steps to this process. One thing I've noticed immediately is how unique the caves are for this mission type. Refining missions put you in a cave constructed of small rooms that combine to make very unique larger rooms with the occasional tunnel leading somewhere else. I've really enjoyed seeing the new cave shapes in this update, and there's a lot to see here. I've noticed on-site refining missions often generate rooms that have a lot of, like, floating bridges and stuff. I really do like it. It's, it's a cool design. There are a couple new mechanics coming with this mission type, mainly the pipe building system, which surprisingly is extremely satisfying, and this little info tool that you hold makes the process of building the pipes much more intuitive. It gives you a lot of information to help you speed up the building process. I swear I've played other games where you, like, build pipes in this style, but I can't really remember any of them off the top of my head. The building system did have me a bit worried at first, but in the end I'm really happy with how it turned out and it feels really satisfying to build. While building these pipes is pretty fun and I enjoy it a lot, I would say that isn't the most fun part of refining missions. From a glance you might think pipe grinding was added just for the sake of being fun and cool. And, and I mean you're probably right but it's also an extremely clever design choice and creates a really satisfying progression for each on-site refining mission. As you expand your reach with these pipes, you expand this network that you've created to help you navigate. You can use these pipes to move back and forth while collecting resources like nitro or gold or heavy objects and return them directly to the refinery. I never thought I'd say this, but this Deep Rock Galactic mission type makes me feel like I'm playing mini Metro, and I love it. This navigation ties directly to the objective of refining as well. During the repair phase, you can stick to the refinery until a pipe bursts and hop on whichever one needs repairing and hop off at the leak. This whole mission type flows so well and I didn't mean to make a funny pipe joke. All of these really satisfying mechanics are also placed on a mission type that feels like one of the most replayable in the game. Refining creates a pretty interesting challenge sometimes, placing more kite wells above and below your refinery, leaving you to figure out the best method to connect things up. Obviously, driller and engineer are extremely important for these mission types and can make them a whole lot easier. On-site refining really feels like point extraction with enough interesting twists to make itself unique, and I love it. The building feels really nice and it's a pretty good change of pace, focusing more on the building aspect than the shooty bug part. I give on-site refining three funny dwarf out of three. All right, ghost ship. I've already praised everything you do in this game, but I seriously cannot praise anything more than escort duty. While Doretta can be a bit odd and a little janky sometimes, you have somehow created an escort mission that is not complete garbage. It's actually fantastic. Does anyone remember the game Brink? I, for some god-awful reason, have dedicated, like, space in my brain to the escort objectives in Brink, and how absolutely terrible they were. And I've just hated escort missions ever since. They are just right next to water levels in the worst parts of video games, but somehow escort duty just completely subverts this and it's really fun. Just please don't put Doretta underwater. The cave generation in this mission type is also pretty funky. Escort duty generates a bunch of rooms that aren't connected until Doretta drills through them. These rooms can be extremely small or big and scary. Actually, in general, this mission type is just kind of scary. It can get really intense and you fight a lot of bugs on high hazards. Random swarms can occur while you're refueling and they happen each time you hit the button on Doretta again. 
The whole escort process is very intense with some small downtime during refueling. Speaking of refuels, they introduced oil shale. This is a new mineral for refueling Doretta, and you can collect it using canisters. Again, this mission type also has many new mechanics added to it, and I really like this more complex and unique mission style. The most intense part of this mission lies at the end, and that's the Amor and Heartstone. Not only does the Heartstone look sick as hell, it's also the coolest fight in the entire game. The Amor and Heartstone fight is broken up into four phases. Phase 1 sends some bugs. Phase 2 has the Heartstone pulling the terrain apart to slam rocks into Doretta. Phase 3 sends some more bugs. And then the final phase has crystals that shoot lasers. This thing is completely demonic and I love the style of it. It definitely reminds me of Doom. And it has all these crazy unique particle effects for the fight and it's really cool. Once you get through the Heartstone you grab the core and attach it very safely on Molly. And you make your way back to the drop pod. But it's pretty unique this time with Doretta's tunnels making it a very different experience to just run back through everything you just dug through. It feels really cool. Also, quick side thing, I think it would be really cool to add a random encounter boss that's a mule, but the mule had a dwarf put like a heartstone in it, and it's become possessed by the heartstone. I don't know how the fight would play out or how you'd like take it down, but I just thought the idea was really cool. Escort Duty is a great addition to the game as a longer mission type that is very focused on defense and shooting a lot of bugs. I'd say it's most similar to Salvage, but it's still vastly different from the objectives and process of doing a Salvage mission. I'd say by far the best part of this mission type is the fact that you get to push a giant badass drill robot. The fact that that's what you have to escort instead of like some lame dwarf guy is way more cool and interesting. I give Escort Duty 3 Dorettas out of 3. Also, what is the name Doretta? Where did that come from? Making new mission types for this game seems like a really difficult task. Not only do you have to make an objective that is really fun, but you have to make it fun repeatedly. They achieve this with the new mission types by introducing new mechanics, unique pacing, and new cave shapes to create an immense amount of variety. I'm really impressed by these new objectives. The art is fantastic with Doretta and Refinery being some of my personal favorite things in the game. Also, the repair animations are so well made, I love how they look. Speaking of new art in general, I'm really excited to see all the upcoming art from the new biomes in Update 33. Update 32 has been really fun, and getting all these new cosmetics and balance changes has really spiced up the game a little bit, and I'm enjoying it. This video is a little more shorter and a less broad topic than my previous ones, but I just wanted to get my thoughts out on the new mission types and see what you guys think about them. What is your favorite new mission type and what are some ideas you have for new biomes coming in update 33? Also follow me on Twitter, that'd be pretty cool. If you, if you use Twitter, you can follow me at sniss underscore, it's pretty good. I, I'd post um, really good tweets such as funny dwarf. Also this video that I made like a year ago. Thank you so much for watching, Rock and Stone.